As the lights dim and you hear that first note sail, you can tell that the Paris Chansons are truly going for the gold. What makes this group special is that each member of the ensemble comes from a different cultural background, yet they all come together through their shared passion of music and French culture. You know, it's all about love, especially the French music. It's all about love. And this is what we are looking for all the time, you know, to, 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 to bring some song, some love to, to our audience. The seven band ensemble, one of the most popular groups to see at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, began about 12 years ago to create beautiful music, aspiring to bring communities together across the globe. So at our shows, you see people from literally from everywhere, and they're singing these songs together. N despite what's going on in the world, they're singing together and they're united. The band is especially excited for a party planned on Friday as the Summer Olympics kick off in Paris. We're going we're gonna to celebrate on the 26th. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do this uh, potluck and uh, we're going to have so many things, you know. And of course, uh, I have some people that are French, you know, they're going to cook some French, uh, French uh, food and stuff like that. So it's going to be awesome. As the world comes together to experience sports on the biggest stage, people across the globe will also have the pleasure of experiencing French culture and its great impacts on the music scene. As a fan of art and culture uh, and French music, I enjoy in, in everything that Paris has to offer. So if you find yourself walking along the Seine with a croissant in hand, waiting for your favorite athlete to enter the field of play, or even just enjoying the company of family and friends these upcoming weeks, give the Paris Chansons a listen. Their songs are available on streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. In Phoenix, Alexis Heikman, Cronkite News.